And welcome back to Let's Play Darklands with me, Polo Dash. Uh, last time on Darklands, uh, Inferno failed to get that new pair of pants he was looking for due to a few things like um, some bad run ins with the City Watch and uh, clothiers that just had bad stock. Nobody in Germany seemed to have a stock of Levi's on hand, only, only leather. <laughs> so that might say something. Uh, but on the other hand, Axiana, uh, she is now uh, equipped with some steel plating for her legs and arms. Uh, we blew all our money to, to get it, but I think it was a fair trade. Um, what else happened? Uh, that's it. Oh, you know what else happened? Or what else didn't happen? I forgot to uh, do what I came to Strasbourg to do in the first place at the end of the last episode, which was to uh, trade in this ancient crown that we got for some florins at the foreign trader here. Uh, so I need to do that before I forget, like last episode. Um, and then I think there's a quest uh, that we need to chase southeast of here. Um, yeah, we need to grab a history scroll for the mayor in Braunschweig. So we will do that. Um, and then, I guess after that, finally we'll be heading to Switzerland. Which was what I was hoping to do today, but I forgot that I had this quest still to be done. Um, or we might be able to, like, mishbash it into, into, like, mishbash both into this single 30 minutes. I, I you know what, in order to do that, I probably need to start playing. Check what time it is. 6 a.m. Oh, you know what time that is? Oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. You know what that means? It's time for church. So we should do that. Um, where is the great churches? All right, the tall spies of the Gothic church. Arrows the sky above you. Arrows into the sky. You know what? Forget reading today. Let's visit the Strasbourg Minster, the great cathedral of Strasbourg. See, Axiana, we're getting in. We're going into the Burger Cathedral, like you always wanted. Be happy. Just uh, don't don't embarrass us by acting all goofy. Finding a seat in one of the many pews, you wait a short while until the Holy Eucharist is ready to be celebrated. With impressive ceremony, the mass is sung. When it is over, you feel peaceful and happy inside, as if you had found favor with heaven. Well. Axiana was hoping to find flavor with burgers, but she was sorely disappointed. <laughs> she walks huffing and puffing out of the cathedral. The rest of the party, though, they feel pretty happy and content. The cathedral, cathedral looks pretty pretty awesome, with all their stained glass windows and such. But it looks like Inferno only got, like... How many Divine Favor points did I have? I feel like I should have more. Oh, well. Um... Back into the main street. And now that we got that over with, let us walk to the central market and claim our reward by walking into the pavilions of the foreign traders. The foreign trader stands beaming and holding your reward. Words of your exploits have obviously spread rapidly. You grasp the weighty purse and count out each coin of seven florins. They're added to their, our party's purse. Yay! Reverently, Heinrich Gable takes a crown and gently places it upon a velvet cushion. Beautiful, is it not, he says? Now none can dispute our claim. Smiling broadly, he bids you farewell. We bow and depart. Sweet. Now how much one have we got? Awesome. Alright, so we're slowly regaining back all the money we blew from buying this, the plate armor. It's a start. Alright, now that we've got that over with, uh, is there anything else we need to do in Trasburg? I don't think so. No. Is there anything I need to sell? I think I did all that last episode. That's why I forgot, yeah. To claim our reward from the pawn trader. Alright, so I guess we got nothing else to do but to leave and head southeast. Simply walk out of the city right past the guards. Except the Rhine is in the way. <laughs> There's no bridge to cross. Uh... The people of Strasbourg had their priorities, like, not straightened out. They, they made a bridge for this tiny stream, but not to cross the river. 
Okay, well. Let's we'll get around this beat bug, because screw sinking in there. Okay, and I guess we'll cross this bridge because it's here, stupid Trasbergians. Why don't you have a bridge over here? That would have been very convenient. Well, I guess we'll take the road south. Um, I mean, that's the way we need to go anyway, so we'll, I guess we'll cut south and then cut east once we find a bridge that will let us cross. Sounds like a plan. Well, let's go. Who was this? Ahead on the road, you see a party of pilgrims. Their leader, a frail old friar, greets you. You ask your destination. We seek the shrine of St. Mary on the outskirts of Strasbourg, he replies, and hope our souls may bask in our radiance. You see that the old men and women hobbling along with him could use all the basking the good lord might provide. We, um... I mean, we could head back to Strasbourg. It's not far, but... It'll still take forever because all these pilgrims are all slow. Or we could just hand him a single florin piece. I don't really feel like handing him a whole gold florin. So he could blow it on coke and hookers. Ah, you know what? When you give money to the poor, sometimes you get a virtue increase. So let's do it. Bowing low with thanks, the friar is very grateful. A noble gift, my lords, he says. For we could truly use a hot meal and a warm night in a comfortable inn. This provides most generously. Certainly, these poor pilgrims seem in need of comfort. You are delighted that your gift is appreciated. Uh, uh awesome! You gotta put your put like a lot of feeling into the mouse click. That's how, that's how you get points in this game. <laughs> All right, so uh, one floor for a single point of virtue. Totally worth it. Let's keep going. Okay, there's a burning village. Hey, you encounter a small group of refugees. Men and women trudge along with all their clothes and household goods on their backs. Some are staggering from sickness, a few are on litters. Even the children trundle along warily. We... And we can give these folks money too. Hey, I got more divine favor! Did I get that from the pilgrims? Awesome, that's a sweet bonus. Alright. Maybe I can pray to Saint Rock? I can. It's going to cost all my divine favor, but it might mean more virtue for me, so let's do it. Alright, we will lead these poor pilgrims into a prayer. <gasps> Success! Suddenly, the entire area is fused with light and the sounds of an angelic core. Gradually, it fades, and as it does, the plague victims look and feel much better. There is great rejoicing. Everyone has been miraculously cured. Their blessing echo in your ears as you continue onward. Virtue! Yes! Yes! That's why Saint Rock and the Pilgrims is the greatest combination for virtue ever. Alright. I'm feeling very happy about myself. Let's continue. There's a lake. That's probably not where we need to go, but I guess I won't hurt to check since it's like right there. Alright. You come upon a small glade in the forest. Here a clear, sweet spring feeds a small brook. Nearby, an old oak shelters a small lean-to. The clearing looks quite peaceful and deserted. Let's investigate the clearing. Let's kick some rocks around. The spot is beautiful and peaceful, but you find nothing of interest or value. Crap. We just ruined the, the beauty and the peace by knocking boulders and rocks everywhere and search for our history scroll. We will leave and continue our travels and forget we fucked up the lake or the lean to or whatever. Okay, and then Toby is not feeling as awesome as he did yesterday. It, it says, like, pray for the entire party, but the, only the party leader gains the benefit. Like, yeah, Toby is that uh, beacon or the conduit for the saints to produce miracles in this mortal plane. Uh-oh. You don't like the land you're walking over. It looks here and dry and you feel sort of mental oppression. Ah, it's not... It's not good. Alright, so we see gargoyles in the sky. We're gonna draw our weapons and defend ourselves. Because running is for bitches. And you can't run from gargoyles anyway. Alright, bring it on! We're feeling pretty virtuous today. Um... Where are they? Where is 
Where are the gargoyles? Come on. Goliath and Brooklyn and all those gargoyle dudes. That was probably a bad attempt at a reference. I'm just gonna ignore. <laughs> North Shivers sounds fine. Where are they? Seriously. You know, we'll just let them come to us because whatever. Bring it. Bring, bring it. Where'd they go? I. Uh. Ben, go find the gargoyles. But, go find them! Oh! What? What was that? Alright, this is freaking me out. Gargoyles are all, like, jumping in and out of trees. Staying in the shadows. Being all ninja. There they are! Alright. Ping makes contact with gargoyles. All I have to do was lean over in front of his shoulder. So like in front, if you just lifted the guard on your helmet, you, you would have seen the gargoyles. Says Ping. Alright. Let's prepare to launch our pew pews. That is a ton of gargoyles. Is that a... Are they all regular gargoyles? Yeah. Just This one just looks humongous. Okay. Launch some arrows their way. Toby's gonna get that crossbow ready. And did this guy no? And did this no? And about uh, one of these guys no? No? No. Just, then you could just stay there. No, just stay there, Toby. Until they get closer. And then you can launch your arrows. I bet you this this tree here is blocking line of sight. It is. Silly. Oh there we go. Should I should have got one. Fire. No, that was ten damage for Axiana, wasn't it? Wow. Alright. Now just go quick draw your crossbow into this one. Boom! Nice. Okay. Okay, draw my other weapons. Attack. Okay, we're all engaged in melee. Ping. Oh shit. Ping. Just just chill. Okay. Ping you Probably should parry. You're probably gonna get ganged. There he goes, there he goes. Oh crap. Ping is like, help! Help! I'm getting pecked to death by gargoyles! Alright, Axiana's gonna go back up Ping. She goes. Charging in with her halberd held high. Boom! Right into its back. But it bounces off its carapace. Or its. I don't know. Stone skin. Right. These gargoyles are still wailing on Ping. But the party is slowly chipping away at the gargoyles. There you go. Got one broken half. Nice. Toby smashed another one and yeah, it's awesome. Axiom splits one and two. And it's over. Well, well. Arrow, javelin, arrow, quarrel. Sweet. I, that deserves definitely four points in the missile skill. He just like quick drew that thing out. Shot the thing in the throat. Sweet. Victory. Battling your foe like heroes of old. We look very awesome. But not awesome enough to gain any points of virtue. Alright. That sucked. I thought I was on a roll with the virtue. Keep going. Keep going. Bro, oh, thieves! Bros, we just killed a whole squadron of gargoyles. You think you're anything to us. You're not. We're gonna take all your things after we kill you and sell them for pocket change. That's all you are. Go. Give us your leathers. Reload, reload, reload. Boom. 
right into his neck. Alright, and go, Toby, go. Axiana, go. Go, go. Now, this is probably why the uh, clothiers of Germany don't, don't have stocks of Levi's, because. You know, adventurers keep selling them leather armor. Um, so they just need to, I don't know, refurbish it or something. And resell it back. Okay. Increase throne weapons. Victory! These light motions at your feet. We take your lessons and leave. Cool. I'm gonna burn that village. Yeah, you know, I did this before, didn't I? Oh, sweet! Looking into the next valley, you see a fierce battle raging. A group of well armed robbers is assaulting a merchant caravan full of goodies. We will charge into the fray and help them. Alright. Go. Yeah, where, where I took a road south to Strasbourg, took a tour of all the burning, burning villages. And decided to turn around because there was not a bridge to cross. Or did I say that already? Yeah, I don't know. It's too many encounters. I'm forgetting what I said and what I haven't said. Fire! Yeah, I think I mentioned that already. Bam! Whatever. Uh. Toby, equip your darts, and launch darts into this one. Fire! Alright, one goes. Peng is going to aim for this guy now. And uh, Inferno is going to aim for the captain. Oh, you can't. To aim for this guy. Are we all shooting? We're not. For this one? Toby, you're still throwing, right? You're not. What the hell's wrong with you? Throw. Okay. Reload. Aim. Fire. Nice. Excellent. And another volley. Fire. Okay. Draw weapons. Charge. Uh, Inferno could, can go against the help of Wheeler. Ping's gonna back him up. For the Lord, no! In front of where, where are you going? You're running. Uh, go this way. Oh wait, you are. Never mind. Are you were going the right way? Go. Oh, but a cutthroat thieves stopped in front of. But hey, it's Halberd on Halberd action. Axiana and the robber sergeant. Boom! But obviously, Axiana is the more skillful Halberd wielder. Oh, maybe not. She took a blow. Ping and Toby comes into the fray to help and slays him. Sweet, more arrows. Two javelins. Arrows. Okay. Stuff. Nice. 90 bow weapon skill. Victory! Virtue! The caravan master is pathetically grateful for your help. You saved our lives and our fortunes. Please take this reward, and we get back the one florin we gave to the pilgrims. That's awesome. Thanks to you, my family still has a leader, my will, my wife a husband. Another one gives us a longsword. We humbly accept these gifts, saying we appreciate your generosity. But the greatest gift of all will be for you to remember us with fair thoughts. For us, the greatest reward of a virtuous deed is the doing of it, and virtue points, and gifts. All right, so we got we got another longsword, which kind of sucks, uh, because we don't really need another longsword, unless this longsword is better than the longsword that Inferno already has. Let's check. Um, Forty-three quality. We'll just hand it to Inferno, let him appraise it. No, it's actually a point worse. We can give it to Peng, though. Peng finds the longsword very unwieldy. It's very nice looking, but. It's not his kind of thing. But we'll give it to him. He can just... He can just keep it on his back. Like one of them sheaths. Go. Okay. Where'd it go? Where 
is. There we go. Pain looking like some kind of like a blade master with like a poniard in one on his hip. He's got a short sword, you know, on his other side of his waist. He's got a long sword in his back. All covered in like a blue velvet robe. It's gonna look pretty badass. Except for his balding. Alright. Hey, there's a mine. Let's walk into the mine. You look over the miner's pathetic shacks. The miner's spokesman looks at you expectantly. We decide to... Uh, hey, what do you got to sell? We got some, we got some man games, marsh paper, ginger plant, and orch orpiment. Hmm. Pang's, Pang looks over the miner's wares and also compares it with his own stock to see if he needs to buy something. I only got four zinc, zinc blend. And this stuff is used in a lot of ingredients, so Ping is going to pocket some. Bring that up to 10. Anything else I need? I'll just buy one. Keep keep these even numbers. Alright. I think I got plenty of man gains. Yeah. Uh, marsh vapor. Marsh vapor is expensive though, but we'll buy one because I like even numbers. All right. Thank you. And this should be Basil. Before you lies the walled city of Basil, a Swiss city and famous trade nexus on the Upper Rhine. As a free city, the Rat of the Reichstadt has selected the Alt Lundsunger to direct day-to-day -day affairs. We are not known here. What time is it? 2 a.m. We all approach the gate during the night watch. All right, in the dead of night, we approach the closed gate. Okay, we hail the night watchman, and we lay on our hang, uh, hame, fame to gain admittance. Hey, the night watchman goes, holy sacraments, you guys are famous. Um, then I guess we'll park ourselves in the inn and get eight hours of rest. Snooze. Okay. Snooze till, okay, noon. Walk into the main street. Trade Nexus, eh? Well, let's go to the Central Market. Let's, let's do some trading. Go to the pawn shop. Okay. I will pawn off the shield, all this leather, scale armor, short bow, a 15 quality halberd, more leather and clubs. Alright. That brings up us back up to 11 florins. Almost 12 florins. Cool. So let's check out... I don't know, here. Because it is a trade nexus. Maybe they got... Something. I don't really know what I'm looking for. Yeah, screw it. So let's go to... Let's go window shopping. What do you got? 26 quality. Eh. Huh? Hey, 31 quality. And I bet you they have plate armor. Hate this game. <laughs> uh, and I got 30. That was 30. Yeah. Oh, screw you. All right. So, well, at least my my theory was correct that the Swiss have some decent armor to equip their armies with. Okay. Well, now I know. And no one's half of not screwing up. Um, Alright. Let's go to the streets of other crafts and guilds. Like, the astrologist lane where Ping will attempt to get the essence of grace formula. Alright, so we're shot along and find the stall of Louis Schott. That. And um, we're gonna see if he wants to trade with us. No, I don't. Mm. All right. Well then, Toby is gonna walk himself to the Tinker Square, where he's hoping to find a gorgeous tutor like the one in Vorms. Twenty-nine quality. All right, that's not too bad. Oh shit. 
The square is quiet. The tinkers' wagons are closed, and the guild shops are shuttered and locked. Everyone seems comfortable asleep. Because Toby is peering through the window. <laughs> like some kind of peeping Tom. We grab him by the neck and pull him over into the side street and scold him. That's not how we do things here. Uh, we will look for your tutor in the morning. Maybe. I'm not guaranteeing it. Um. Anyway, I'll just cut the video here. Yeah. Alright. So, um. Yeah, I didn't get to go on that quest because, because of the Rhine. But next time we'll do that. And then. Uh. We might actually be able to get to the quest from here unless it's right next to Zurich. What does it say? Um. What am I looking for? Northeast of. Oh! It's northeast of here. So I. All right, so it's about the history scroll for for the mayor of Braunschweig and this it's another Tarnhelm. Uh, this other version of the Tarnhelm is around the same location. All right, so let's see if we can hit two birds with one stone next episode. All right, so see you then.